Hello friends today we are discussing about characteristic of DC generator at present time bulk of electrical energy is generated in the form of alternating current DC generators are no more used in modern power system for the sake of continuity the characteristics of DC generators are briefly given here characteristic is the graph between two independent quantities following are the characteristic of DC generators the first is magnetization characteristic it is a plot between the induced emf generated in the armature versus armature current second characteristic is internal characteristic it is the characteristic or plot between the terminal voltage and armature current and third characteristic is called as a external characteristic this is also called as a load characteristic it is a plot between load voltage and load current so first we will plot a magnetization characteristic let's assume let's see the separately excited motor which has field winding and armature both are supplied by dc source So this is the field winding resistance RE and this is the field winding and this is the armature resistance and these are the speed of generator or prime mover of the generator is omega m so we know that emf equations of generator is eg is proportional to phi n so as field current is increased in the generator so that induced emf is also proportional to field current so that eg is proportional to if so both are the linear characteristic and we can plot here the eg versus if if or we can say field and this is eg so this characteristic is a plot between induced emf in generator and field current and the characteristic is like this after some point this point of p start from o at start point p because of saturation of magnetic material it bend down so it is not going straight line so this is the characteristic of the magnetization characteristic of dc generator the next characteristic is internal characteristic it is a plot between terminal voltage and armature current as we know that eg is equal to vt plus ia ra so we can start make a relationship is equal to vt is equal to eg minus ia ra so when ia is equal to 0 vt is equal to eg and when ia starts to increase vt is drop so we are getting the dropping characteristic of this internal characteristic we will get a dropping characteristic this is vt and this is the armature current so at the point of ia is equal to 0 vt is equal to eg so it starts to decrease and this is the characteristic and this drop is called as a ia ra so this is the characteristic of internal dc generator characteristic relation between terminal voltage and armature current now we'll see the third characteristic that is the external characteristic it is also called as a load characteristics it's a plot between vl and il so in this case according to ohm's law v is equal to il 
I L into R L. So it is a proportional characteristic. So we can plot V L in Y axis and I L in X axis, and that characteristic will be straight line. So this is the plot between load voltage and load current, and is also called as a external characteristic of DC generator. Thank you.